All right, what's going on everybody? Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. We finally have news as to when the new update is going to be dropping. They just posted on Twitter literally like two minutes ago. I hopped on here to make this video. I have not watched this trailer yet. We're going to watch it together, but it says this is one update you won't soon forget. Disney Dreamlight Valley's fifth major content update, The Remembering, launches June 7th at 9 a.m. ET. So that is tomorrow. We just have well, one more day and this is going to be launching and uh, I'm super pumped. So let's go ahead and check out the trailer. I'm going to keep the audio off. I wouldn't think it would be copyrighted, but I got that on one of the last videos. I think it was like the Scar update. So if you guys want to watch the full trailer with the music and everything, just check on probably YouTube, Facebook, all this stuff. But we are going to go ahead and watch this trailer together. All right, so it's actually pretty long. It's a minute and 49 seconds long. So it looks like we already have a tear between our reality and the Shadow Realm. That's what they're showing right here. And then in our biggest story update yet. So this is going to wrap up Act 1 of the story. So the whole forgetting, everything like that is going to wrap up in this update. So it's a huge story update. Okay, we got our character. We got Mickey puzzled. Um, doesn't look like there's any other clues here. We do have the crocodiles here at the bottom left of what in what looks like the meadow. I don't know if we can take them in different biomes or what's going on with that. We also have a raccoon here in the Glade of Trust. We got Stitch and our character fishing and no more clues here. Everything else looks pretty much normal. And then there's that little rift, the little rip through like space and time here in the sky. I'm not seeing any other new items as well. No new houses or anything like that. Merlin is, of course, looking up there trying to figure out what's going on. Experience an epic adventure. Okay, so our character is looking at the orb pillar here in the Forgotten Lands. We have Merlin messing with the well. Again, nothing so far, we haven't seen anything new in the trailer. Here we go. Oh, so there is the tree house. This is the mysterious tree house we saw in one of the images that we don't really know who lives in there, but it looks like we're either going to place this down or maybe it's just going to be on like in the biome. Whenever we log on, we have the fairy godmother's pumpkin house and unveil the secrets of the forgetting. Oh, there we go. We got the fairy godmother. Let's go. She's got her wand in her hand. There is the tree house. Is it going to show? Nope. So it looks like we're going to be able to teleport back and forth between the realms, but this might just be a little cutscene here. Add a touch of magic to your favorite furniture. We already know we can customize furniture with our motifs and things like that. Wow, you can actually make some really good creative bed sets. Celebrate everything Pixar with a brand new star path. Oh, this is actually animated, so we have a headpiece that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what this is from. Let me know in the comment section what this is from, but we have the other stuff we've already seen, the aquarium, the memory wall. I do like that headpiece. That's actually pretty cool. We have the statues here, new hairstyles maybe. We have a phoenix, a, a motorbike. Doesn't look like there's anything else in the back. Discover the season's premium shop, oh, of course. Skins for our pickaxe and shovels. All of our royal tools. What the heck? Come on. Oh, is that? What, what is this supposed to be? Just a... I don't know if this is just an item piece, like a decorative item, or if that's supposed to be like a door or a window. I don't know, but I really like these items here. Those look pretty cool. Um, this holographic screen is amazing. We got a PC down here, a gaming chair. I hope those are not Twitch exclusive items. We got the umbrellas with different styles. I wonder if we can customize those. Live in style with multiple player houses. Okay, that's pretty cool. Nothing else here. That it says some optional items may require purchase. So they're of course gonna have a lot. Oh my God, I love that castle. That was sick. Let's back it up. We gotta take a look at that castle. You know, a lot of people were asking me if they should spend their moonstones or save it. I said that you should save it, and this is why I knew there was gonna be a big, like, you know, wow item they're gonna have in the premium shop, and this is probably what's gonna be dropping. 
Go on a new adventure with Wally. All right, Wally's getting some more quest line. Heck yeah. Oh, we're like little detectives. That's so adorable. I love that outfit. And then back to the cover our image. So this update's looking pretty cool. Free update launches June 7th. Um, it looks like everyone obviously is super, you know, excited. I'm really disappointed in the fact that they strung us along, dangling that carrot in front of us for so long when they obviously knew the update, which is a shame because while this is awesome, the update drops tomorrow. Let's go. Uh, a lot of people probably work and have school, so it would have been nice to know ahead of time to request off, but it's going to be dropping early morning for most of us. And uh, I will be streaming when it launches so if you guys want to watch me stream you want to hang out as soon as it launches i'm loading up my stream the, the minute it launches so we'll go through the new quest we'll experience the new stuff and if you guys are at work or whatever you can just watch me that way you kind of know what to do and then after my stream i'm also going to be pumping out a ton of guides so make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe to the channel and uh yeah let's go finally I really want to know what you guys are most excited for on that trailer that we just watched. Um, the, the new player houses are pretty cool. And what's everyone's thoughts on premium shop for your, your royal tools? I would like to change the skins of my royal tools, but I don't know if they're going to be expensive. If they're going to be over 2,000 moonstones, that's going to be a bummer. And hopefully they're like a whole pack, all of them together. And we're not just purchasing a single ones. We saw so many different types of umbrellas. I really don't know if those are where you can like create your own or if these are just different styles that's going to be in the shop or if you can actually earn them in the game. But uh, umbrellas seem pretty cool. It's, we still don't know if they have any use beyond just looking cute. This house, I'm not even sure what house that could be. This looks really cool. I'm probably going to pick this up. It really reminds me of like the whole like Toon Town, like Toon World vibes way back on like the old Yu-Gi-Oh days. That's the vibes I'm getting from that. So I'm like all for that. It's also like the sinister version of the Dreamlight Castle, of course, that we've seen. And uh, I'm really excited for more cutscenes because we, as I've been replaying this on my other saves, there were like so many cutscenes at the beginning of our gameplay experience and then like middle to the end there's just hardly any cutscenes and when there is it's just a couple seconds long so it looks like we're going to get some really cool uh, animated cutscenes here and of course the story and lore is going to be great i'm just so curious as to why the animals are in different biomes is that just going to be part of the story like everything in our world is getting twisted up with the shadow realm or what's going on with that but yeah, there's so much going on in this trailer, so be sure to let me know in the comment section your guys' thoughts because there's there's just a ton of stuff and I'm all here for it. So again, make sure you guys pop in on my stream. I hope you all have a really wonderful day. We have less than 24 hours before this update drops. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.